the 2016 NCHA Great American Insurance Summer Spectacular. We just had the final of the John Deere Derby and we had two winners tonight. I'm with one of them now, Clay Cerny, who rode Mayor E. Hughes and scored a 222. Congratulations to you, Clay. Thank you very much. First major final in the Will Rogers. How are you feeling right now? Well, it's awesome. It is it, unbelievable. So it Yeah, to, to be your first final and to win, how significant is that? It's uh, just... I don't know. I can't even describe it. It's crazy. Now, what was your game plan coming into this event? <laughs> Try not to mess up. Make sure I didn't do anything dumb, and I'm, I'm good at doing that. Most of the time I mess up, and it just, I don't know. It just worked out. It was just crazy. How did you find the cows tonight? Were they tough? No, no. I had, I had great cow pickers, Cody Porterfield and Grant Setnica, and they they talked me right through it, and uh, cows were great and mayor was good and everything worked out what was going through your mind as you were cutting those cows did it was it slow motion or was it going really fast how did it seem it's never slow motion for me it, it, it always feels like it's going fast no the the first cow i drove way up and i thought it was i thought it was uh i've never gotten driven up that far in this pen and and uh, it was a little different for me and my mare both and she settled in and everything was good second cow was a was a uh, white runny-eyed cow and she was really good and then just finished up on a, something on the top and it, it worked out. So tell us about your horse because you were saying earlier that um, she was a little bit of a challenge at the beginning but she's really hitting her straps now? Yeah it's crazy it, and I don't know why but it, it uh, she's, she's always been a good horse but we have she's wild scared of cows and, and just a, a handful and it just this week she's been just a settled and, and thinking and not doing too much and I don't I don't know why it just kind of worked sometimes that wildness can be channeled into some really exciting uh, you know cutting activity you're right you're right most time I can't ride through the wildness so that's the problem so no it she's she is truly one of a kind I think I mean she's a I'm really proud of her so, so you think she's going to continue to um, develop are you expecting big things of her now as she gets older I do I do I think she's just now hitting her stride and, and uh, I think she'll just get better and better. And last night, Taryn Rice and I were talking, and he said, you know, every horse has a show that they step up to the plate. And he said, I think this is her show. So, Okay, now tell us a little bit about yourself, because you haven't been cutting all that long, some four years, and to already win a major title in the Will Rogers is a fantastic feat. But you um, are a pretty decorated um, rodeo champion, a tie-down roper. Tell us about that. Well, I rodeoed for, I don't know, seven or eight years probably. And... Uh, and just dedicated myself to that that's all I did and then and then the opportunity came up to to start cutting and I was just green still I'm still green and and uh, it's just a long hard road but it's it's well worth it so what made you move into cutting my in-laws they bought they bought Thomas E. Hughes at stud and we had some babies on the ground and I don't know why they let me do it but they said hey you you, you start these colts and that we just did. It, they saw some potential in you. I don't know. I don't know. It was crazy. It just just worked out. How does it compare? Well, it's honestly for me, it's two completely different riding styles. Roping, you're always up, standing up, you know, feet behind you, toes down. And I still, if you watch me cut, I still do that. And it's not. It's hard. It uh, and the and the clock. I'm always thinking, go faster. I mean, I should think slow down. And it's hard to. To regulate, you know how much time is left, and you're thinking, 30 seconds. I got to hurry when you don't, and it's it's just just greenness, I guess. But but well, it's it'll be really interesting to watch your journey after just four years in this sport. Uh, congratulations to you, Clay. Thank you very much.